poor man. A horrid death. Yeah, but you don't care. Oh, I get it. It's it's a rare species, but still. Um, did I receive a quest for this one? Oh, that's that's Rose that made it sound. Oh, here we go. Basilisk scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. I get that, but it's a danger. And if it's a danger, then we can't let her live. But like that other beast that was being used for cage fighting, or at least for those battles Strange. in the tourneys. These burn marks. Beasts venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. I was go- uh, yeah, why did I press that? The basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Anyway, that other beast, that Shalmar thing, that one wasn't a danger. It was just being put in in that situation. Then I felt bad for it. Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo Coco is so very curious. Strong sense, especially Oh, intrigue. God. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Sure. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Oh, Why I'm not ready for both? this. Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Oh, okay, yeah, that's also a point. That they know and... No, you wouldn't send a family in there. That is weird. But still, he has a point. People could be taking benefit from it. Oh, God. Oh, what should I be doing? I think I'm gonna save first. That might be smart. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save it over this one. No, I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. Evil soft first touches. Beast of Toussaint. I'm just gonna save it over this one in Wine Wars. I don't care about this quest. The other ones I might be needing to backtrack for a trophy or whatever. So... Alright, let's follow it. Um. Goodbye, sir. Are you gonna follow me right now? Are you kidding me? Still gonna go there. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Yeah, then we probably need to find a way to lure it out. Did I even receive a quest for this one? Because who knows, this is a level 40 quest I'm doing. No, that's not it. I don't know. Oh well. We'll just figure it out then if we get slaughtered. Oh. 
sense perceptible again. Monsters Den. Do I need to go there? No. Oh, there's the corpse. Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Interesting. In reply to a question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of tenon, allow me to confirm. Yeah, my reading sucks because my glasses is on the wrong prescription. I need new glasses and I'll get it in two weeks. So my eyesight is not really good at the moment with his glasses. So that's why I mostly make mistakes when I'm reading this text. Where was I? Allow me to confirm. The official something supported by the guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count de Salvarez. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror. So even in the case of the destru destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. Uh, so that's how it goes. That guy was right. They're thinking, oh, well, hey, let's just take the risk. We don't lose money anyway. Even though they lose some of their people, they don't care. All right. So the sand went here, then we're gonna continue here. Here's something, but it's no basilisk screech. Human voices. What the hell? Are they trying to lure it out? I am really lost with this quest right now. Why do they sound so stupid? <laughs> this is not talking! What the hell are they doing? I'm gonna grab Quinn. I don't trust this. Yamo, Harry, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off some ways. We got to lure it back. And who might you be? Funny. About to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia, we've got mutual acquaintances. Geralt of Rivia, I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Boholt, Kennet and Desbrit, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Boho mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen oh. of a near extinct subspecies. Oh, what do Where we do? Pay, are you? Long as we do nothing. That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Okay, let's not kill it. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah, uh, no scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but, 
you made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given... Your share, would ya? Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, Witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. Godspeed, boys. You spared your cast. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out yeah, of this area. Yeah, that's, that's exactly the do. thing. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. Ooh, if I'm thinking about this, if I refuse to take any more coin, would it gr be added to one of the virtue or won't it matter? Because I do need the coin. But if I I'm thinking if I don't take it, I might have an extra chance of a virtue. I'm just gonna take it. We're still a witch. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take it. Thanks. Thanks. Your cast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? Your cast could lay new eggs. Perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Sure, I hope not. Take care. And Gerald is like, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, yay! Yes, we did grab the virtue. Nice, now we need one more. Okay, good thing I did take the coin then because we already had the virtue, nice. So I decided to let the bees live because yeah, we already didn't have a lot of time to think. I thought maybe the battle is going to be tough. The guy does compensate us for not battling it. Next to that, it is the only species left and only attacks when provoked. So I'm thinking if that guy actually tries his best to try and relocate the basilisk, then there won't be a threat anymore. Then it's all right. So I guess I'm giving him the chance to do that um, and not slay it immediately and have that really endangered species um, killed. So that's what we've been doing, <laughs> saving an animal or saving a beast for once. And so we're done with that quest. I don't think I ever tracked that quest. It was just a random thing in the meantime. So I think I can go to the vineyard then. And we need one more virtue, but which one? We had compassion back. Okay, we only need valor. Now let's finish this quest as well, the vineyard, the wine wars, the vineyard wars, then we will get some nice sum as well. And then we can move on to a new quest. Entrance. I'm not going in there. Fuck that. Person in distress. Again. Okay. I do have to enter it. No. Well, what is... Oh. How does this go? Ah. Fuck. Ah. Never mind. <laughs> Are you gonna climb up? It's 
I kind of want to dive into that. Well, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Move it. There we go, Gerald. Come on. Yeah, I'm working on it. No, I didn't want to... God, don't... What the hell? Gerald. Hello. Hello, Geralt! Oh, this is such a small area. This is not working. Look at that. I can't even hit him. Hey, what the fuck? And he can hit me. This is ridiculous. I'm trying. Can you shut up for now? I'm concentrating. Yeah, there we go. You're free. Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flavored wine. When suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bank did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Yeah, you would have been dead. But I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any herbs, I have a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Sure, we're done anyway, so let's go. Lead the way. We completed right the quest. You. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Vineyard seems a bit run down. Master Liam doesn't seem a diligent proprietor. He tries as best he can. It's not his fault our vineyard suffered plague upon plague. Plague? Well, I dealt with what it. Kind? Well, the enormous yellow man-eating sun juice, for instance. You cannot set foot into the brush for fear of coming out ahead shorter. We dealt with it. It should be all fine now in the vineyard. Show me what you got. Now let's complete this quest. We're done. We're not going to go there yet because it's still level 42. We're not ready for that. Um, so let's do this one. Go back to Liam. Complete it. Get a reward of 850 gold, I thought it was. A lot of sabotage going on at both vineyards. Coronados and Vermentino's troubles didn't come out of nowhere. Found evidence someone was behind them. Specifically, someone planted Arcaspore bulbs around the properties. That's in these letters. As for who it was. What do you mean, who? Him! Oh, oh, shut up, him. woman. You're mad, woman. Surely you hatched this plot and now seek to stick me with the blame. Calm down, both of you. I'll find the place the letters mention. We'll clear this up. Both vineyards should be fine now. Solved your problems. Coronata and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. What's this? Both vineyards? Why, that puts me in quite a bind. Then let me release you. Sell Balgat to me. Oh, out of the question. <coughs> Quiet. Do not dare to start that again or I'll not sell to either of you. In light of the situation, I would advise the parties to form a partnership. What? You heard me. <laughs> a partnership. That is my final decision. Now please, come with me. I shall show you your new property. Hang on. What about my pay? <laughs> a word once given. The job is done. The pay is due. Take it. Just a minute. You got us into this bind, so now you must come and see it through. I've a strong sense we'll soon have more work for you, me and my just pay up partner.
Fine, I'll go to Belgard. All right, let's go. Oh, right now? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, fine. <laughs> I should be saving or at least uh, refresh the recording soon. So I hope she's not going to talk a lot because I have five minutes left. For your dolly darling sleep has flown, don't dare let her tremble. 